Hello guys, my name is Sapnil and today we are going to create an isometric art like this something. So let's start. So first of all, go to file and click document properties and go to grid. So first of all in page, you can select display unit in pixels and just uncheck show page border then go to grids and then click on this drop down and select this one and click on new ok so a grid will be formed like this so this is what we want and close it ok so these are the colors which are going to be used to create a model like this so go and select this bezier curve tool and let's do it now first click on this icon enable snapping and uh, you should activate this snap to grid and snap guides and then just click on any one of this and one two three and four after four blocks just click the button here like this and then in upward 3 and again 4 and then close it okay so now click on this arrow and go to fill and stroke and then click on stroke and click on this X to remove all the strokes go to fill and click on this square or select this second color okay now let me move it here okay so we have space to do ah. now next thing we have to do is again select the bezel curve and then click on this edge and go straight up by 2 let me check yes go straight up by 2 then like this by 2 and then click on this corner and then close it ok now again select this go in fill and select this one select the color picker and select this color a lighter color or maybe little I think it's little darker escape okay let's uh, go select this and remove the strokes and let me check the color okay so select the second color this one has a darker color third one here now it's looking good yeah okay yes, there is some issue let me check again ah yeah so it has the color of this one okay the next thing is to just right click on both drag and click and right click and duplicate and then flip the sides and just drag it like this select this one and then select this go to the arrow and then go to <coughs> And then go to align and distributes and then select align right edge and then again same for this okay now we will change the color select this one and go to fill and stroke and change the color to lighter one and then again for this lighter one okay now I can go to big select basal curve and then create a some square shape like this which has two units of sides then select the fill remove the stroke and the fill has to be the top color the lightest one okay so now we have created our head now select the bezel curve again and let's make a body 
select this go down by 4 1 2 3 and 4 then here you just move it little bit forward like this 1 2 3 4 and just one more like this and then after you will create 1 2 3 after this just little bit of offset and then like this and then close it again select the fill color remove strokes let a fill color and fill color is a darker one no not this one this one let me check the color yeah now just right click and duplicate and then flip it and just again click on this selection tool and then select this first this and then this go to align and distribute and select this one right it's okay now we are done and we have to give the color go to fill and select the color the darker one yeah select the darker one color yeah. this one the third one okay now next again go and select the basil curve and then we'll create a strip here like this okay remove the stroke and here the color of the strip is dark lighter darker red then duplicate it flip it and just align it like this and give it a color a lighter red okay so we are almost done now let's clear make the eyes okay so just create this a rectangle okay and give it a color of face like this one and just untick this snapping tool and drag it here okay just align it in a proper way now let's give it eyes so again click a basil curve create and activate a snapping tool create the square and give it a darker color and just reduce its size and untick the snapping tool and just bring it here and duplicate it and just bring it here just align in okay so we are done with eyes let's give it some shadow duplicate it drop it down and make it some darker color like this and set its layer downwards and do it again duplicate it and keep it somewhere like this and okay now it's looking something good okay now let's make its ears select the basil curve again and create an ear so for creating an ear enable the snapping tool and just create an ear here like this okay it's a low a color which is very light and like this a complete ear and this one is uh, remove the stroke give it a darker color darker color something like that okay, now drag and click both and just 
remove it I remove the snapping tool I will disable it and just paste it here duplicate it flip it and just rotate it and just downwards and delete this part yeah that's it so let's make hands so again select the bezel above and we will enable the snapping and then just create one and a half i think this much one and one two three four one and four one and four like this okay and give it a darker color something like that and again create one and this one remove the stroke give the fill something lighter like this and then select the bezel curve again and let's make a hand and the hand has to be a rectangular like this okay uh, take the width full and height uh, one two three and four like this and give it a color this color okay and again from here take it four just four like this and close it remove the strokes give it a fill fill has to be a little lighter this one and then again just create complete this one remove the stroke give the fill and this has to be a darker one okay now now we are completed remove the stroke okay now we are completed them just see remove the snapping tool and just align it so, okay so just increase the size now uh, it's looking good okay just make it a group and just align it here so make it little smaller and align it here okay now it's done the next thing is making its legs like this so again basil curve select basil curve one and a half something like this twice of that oh wait a second just enable the snapping tool and take it one and a half okay it has to be something like this right yeah wait a second again cancel it yeah now it is perfect like this okay now I remove the air strokes and give them a fill the fill has to be this one or something lighter than this color and make it the lowest remove the snapping tool and adjust it duplicate it and adjust it okay now we are done with it now what you can do is just copy drag and select all right click and duplicate it and just we will drag it this way and what we will do we just unclick here remove the eyes we don't need it anymore we need hands and uh, remove the hand and just click here and group it and just flip it okay and again object ungroup it okay drag this upward drag this little downward place the hand again here okay 
and uh, this time all right and we need to make something select the basal curve select snapping on and then then just select okay, wait a second we'll do it after all okay now drag drag and select both of this group them flip them and then bring it here and just flip it here and done okay so we are done with it we have the front view of our character and the back view of our character so this is how you can create a, an isometric game character in Inkscape. so thank you guys and meet you in the next video thank you